Colin McFedrin was just an 11 year old boy when he had little choice but to join 40,000 other refugees along a 450 kilometre route to hell across the mountains of northern Myanmar during World War II. When he set out, he was in the company of his mother, his brother and his sister. But by journey's end, he was the only member of his family alive. We were first struck by Colin's heart aching story in 2013. And although he's no longer with us, 75 years after his exodus, our passion is to ensure the story of Colin and his fellow refugees is learned but not forgotten. In February 2017, the tragic steps of those refugees will be retraced for the first time ever by our small group of determined trekkers as we walk the same 450 kilometres that claimed so many lives in 1942. Ahead of us lies the blazing flatbed of the Hukong Valley, the treacherous Patkoi mountain ranges, and regions of the planet, the beauty of which has been hidden to outsiders for almost 60 years. Colin lost his mother on this harrowing journey. Today, in modern Myanmar, thousands of children are left motherless every year due to preventable complications during childbirth. So our trek will not only commemorate Colin and his fellow refugees, but will also raise awareness for the Burnett Institute's Healthy Mothers, Healthy Babies program, which trains midwives and provides essential birthing kits to rural communities. After nearly four years of hard work, both at home and internationally, we finally received our permits, which is a world first. We're the generous recipients of sponsorship and support from Mont Adventure Equipment and Booper Australia and dozens of donations from many generous supporters to our crowdfunding page. However, we still need your help to make this trek become a reality. So please, consider donating to our logistics costs on our GoFundMe page or Google Colin McFedrin Trek. Colin's gone now, but your support will ensure that early next year we will honour his memory by following his long forgotten path to support the women and children of the country he left behind.